Good evening, we are on Wednesday the 8th of June 2022. I'm banned, banned for seven days for the kind of prayers I prayed. YouTube didn't like it, they said I broke their community rules on medical basis. But I wasn't giving medical advice, I was praying for people dead and alive, all kinds of issues. And I prayed for Amber Heard on the same video, St. Augustine prayed for her conversion back to the Catholic Church and to repent and turn to God. That's not a medical issue, is it mental health? So I'm going to be sharing with you this evening Jeremy McCoyd, Mark, the suffering servant. Jeremy's really good interpretation. The Gospel of Mark is a fascinating book. It was written to a group of suffering Christians who were facing execution and had no time for theological intricacies. Mark cuts to the chase and provides them with a jargon-free summary of the gospel story. Who is Jesus and why is he worth dying for? Mark does away with any reference to Jesus' birth so he can focus on the most essential stories that convey the meaning and power of Jesus' life, death and resurrection. With one third of the gospel devoted to the last week of Jesus' life, Mark's message is clear. The all-conquering Son of God is also God's suffering servant. The true meaning of his life revolves around a cross, three hours of darkness and an empty tomb. So we're now on day six and I'm on day two of the ban. So I have to I'm going to record every day and upload it as soon as I'm allowed back on. So day six read in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear to whom his love commits me here. Ever this night to be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan, and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Day 6. Read Mark 1 verses 21 to 34. Authority has more or less lost its authority in the 21st century West. Our culture worships human rights and balks at anyone who suggests they have authority over us. If you doubt that, listen in to any radio talk show. Note how the media talks about the government or simply eavesdrops on a chat between church members about the elders. Jesus was always going to set the cat among the pigeons in Israel because he taught them as one who had authority. Verse 22. He did not quote other great teachers as even the most eminent Jewish rabbis did. He usually quoted himself. You have heard it said, but I say, as though his own word was equal to God's, which it was. And he does not just speak with authority, he demonstrates it by casting out demons. Be quiet, said Jesus sternly. Come out of him. Verse 25. He commands dark 
forces and they obey often with trembling all of which leaves the people wondering who is more frightening the demons or the one who has just cast them out when he gets to Peter's mother-in-law he does not even say anything he went to her took her hand and helped her up the fever left her verse 31 how lovely it is that Jesus power which is frightening enough to make demons tremble is also homely enough to make a mother-in-law get up and prepare the tea who is Jesus is the question Mark wants us to keep asking throughout his gospel should I love him because he makes sick people well or should I fear him because he has untold power even over dark realms that I barely understand a bit of both is where Mark wants us to get to Mark wants us to love our compassionate healer who cares about our dearest loved ones but he also wants us to fear in a healthy way the one who will crush Satan's head we hear a lot in our churches about loving Christ often through sentimental worship songs there's nothing wrong with that except that we may lose a balanced perspective on our glorious Lord Jesus Christ Proverbs reminds us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom Proverbs 9 verse 10 C.S. Lewis was right to depict Christ as the lion Asian in his Narnia novels a lion to whom even little children can talk but also a lion who roars the reflection do you fear Christ as much as you love him who in your circle of family or friends needs his healing right now many people do you can pray for them you can pray for them step out with faith pray with them in Jesus name thank you so much for listening that seemed very short but then I've done a lot of long ones so I don't mind God bless you thank you for listening you won't hear this until next week because I'm banned again it's always something to do with that awful thing we've gone through for two years it, it never shakes off does it but I'm Christian I'm sharing Jesus Christ why should they be doing that to me I'm not sharing any medical anything but they're claiming it because I'm praying for those who are suffering and have suffered and hopefully gone to Jesus God bless you and thank you for listening. I'm sending you the peace of Christ.